as we know slabs are mainly of two types that is one way slab and two way slab before calculating the quantity of steel in one way slab we must know the basic concepts about it a one way slab is supported on beams or walls on two opposite sides and it carries the load along one direction only that's why the main steel bars are provided along the shorter span of the slab and distribution bars along longer span i am going to show you how to calculate the steel quantity by illustrating this method with the help of an example at the end of this lecture i will show you how to prepare the table for bar bending schedule of slab before starting this tutorial if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future now let's start with our today's topic suppose we need to calculate the quantity of steel for a slab of length 5 meter and width 2 meter it should be noted that the shorter span of the slab should not be confused with beam outer to outer span for reference i have drawn this diagram to give you a clear idea about it lx is the longer span and ly the shorter span the ratio of longer span to shorter span that is lx upon ly is equal to 5 upon 2 equal to 2.5 which is greater than 2 which clearly indicates that this slab is a one way slab so we have the given data as length of slab is 5 meter that is 5000 mm width of slab 2 meter or 2000 mm the slab is provided with main bars of size 12 mm spaced at 150 mm center to center and distribution bars of size 8 mm which are also spaced at 150 mm center to center the clear cover is taken as 25 mm at top and bottom of the slab the thickness of slab is taken as 150 mm and the development length is equal to 40 d for preparing the bar bending schedule first of all we need to calculate the number of bars required for that we have the formula number of bars equal to length of slab upon spacing plus 1 number of main bars will be equal to span lx upon spacing plus 1 which will be equal to 5000 upon 150 plus 1 equal to 34 hence we require 34 number of main bars number of distribution bars required will be equal to ly upon spacing plus 1 ly is equal to 2000 mm and spacing 150 so on substituting these values we will get the number of distribution bars equal to 14 now we need to calculate the cutting length of both main bars and distribution bars the cutting length of main bar will be equal to span ly plus development length on each end which will be twice ld plus 1 times inclined length since the main bars are bent up at alternate ends ly is 2000 mm development length is 40 times d which will be 40 into 12 and inclined length is equal to 0.42 d minus 2 times 45 degree bend since we have two bends this capital d will be equal to slab thickness minus two side clear cover minus dia bar which will be equal to 150 minus 50 minus 12 equal to 88 mm 45 degree bend is equal to 1d so on substituting these values we will get the cutting length of main bar equal to 2973 mm or 2.97 meter total length of main bars will be equal to cutting length of one bar which is 2.97 into number of bars which we have already calculated as 34 so total length of main bars will be equal to 100.1 meter to calculate the weight of main bars we have the formula d square upon 162 into total length of main bars d is the dia which is 12 mm total length is already calculated as 100.1 meter So on substituting these values we will get the weight of main bars equal to 89 kg Now 
we need to calculate the cutting length of distribution bar which will be equal to span LX plus development length on each end which is twice LD. LX is 5000 mm and development length equal to 40 D as D is the dia of distribution bar equal to 8 mm. So on substituting these values we will get the cutting length of distribution bar equal to 5640 mm or 5.64 meter. Total length of distribution bars will be equal to cutting length of distribution bar which is calculated as 5.64 meter into number of distribution bars which is already calculated as 14. So on substituting these values we will get the total length of distribution bars equal to 79 meter. Weight of distribution bars will be equal to d square upon 162 into total length of distribution bars which is already calculated as 79 meter. So on substituting these values we will get the total weight of distribution bars equal to 31 kg. Now we need to calculate the quantity of top bars required for this slab. Top bars are provided at top of critical length L by 4. The number of top bars required will be equal to span LY upon 4 divided by spacing plus 1. And we will write it 2 times since these are provided at 2 ends. On substituting these values we will get the number of top bars equal to 9. Length of top bar will be equal to the length of distribution bar which is already calculated as 5.64 meter. So the total length of top bars will be equal to 5.64 into number of top bars which is calculated as 9. Hence the total length will be equal to 51 meter. Weight of top bars will be equal to d square upon 162 into total length of top bars. D is the dia of bar which is 8 mm and total length of top bars is calculated as 51 meter. So on substituting these values we will get the weight of top bars equal to 20 kg. Finally the total weight of steel will be equal to weight of main bars which is 89 kg plus weight of distribution bars which is 31 kg plus weight of top bars which is 20 kg. So the total will be 140 kg. I have prepared the table of bar bending schedule to give you the summary of steel quantity required for this slab. The first column gives us the description of bars used. That is main bars, distribution bars and top bars. The second column shows us the diameter of bars as we have provided main bars of 12 mm dia, distribution bars 8 mm and top bars 8 mm. The third column shows us the number of bars which are required for the construction of this slab. The fourth column shows us the cutting length of each bar separately. The fifth column shows us the unit weight of each bar required. For illustration, unit weight of main bars is equal to d square upon 162 while d is the dia of main bars which is taken as 12 mm. So on substitution we will get unit weight of main bars equal to 0.9 kg per meter. The last column will give us the quantity of steel required for each type of bar and it will be equal to multiplication of first, second, third and fourth column. At the end we will write the total weight of steel required which will be equal to the summation of quantities calculated in last column. So this was all about this tutorial. If you like my content, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future. Thank you.